probably been quite a journey for you and for many it could be terrifying others it can be exciting you know I hope that it's been exciting for you even the terrifying ones can be exciting it helps you to get out of your rut and to move forward and to progress so we're gonna take everything that we've been learning so far and with this one it's all about expressing your sexuality and when I say that I don't mean that you have to dress in leather, carry around whips, and you know, flaunt yourself. That is not what I mean at all. Expressing your sexuality, it can be very simple. It could be hidden. People don't need to know. It could be something as simple as wearing sexy lingerie underneath your work clothes. But you know what? Nobody has to know, but you feel sexy. You could even wear something fetishy, you know, a little fetish latex bra or a collar which looks like a necklace, but guess what? Nobody knows. It's all about just expressing your sexuality in your own way. Not what others want of you, not what you see on TV, none of that. It's about what makes you feel safe and what you want to do. If your sexuality is low key, that's fine. If you're not someone who loves to wear lingerie, lace, silk, that's fine too. Again, in the PDF file and for your exercises, I give you many examples that you can try out for expressing your sexuality. Not all of them are going to fit you, but the thing is to try them all out and see which one works for you. Never say never until you try something. For the first one, I'm going to help you with expressing yourself in your home. Now again, these are just little things, and I'm not saying that when I say express yourself your sexuality in your home to go all out and have fetish photos or naked girls all over the wall. That's something that I do in my house. <laughs> I do have, I love erotic art, vintage erotic art from the 1920s and I have a lot of naked girls around my house, I have erotic statues that I collect from my travels, but this is something that I love and it's something who I am. So when people come over, they expect it. They don't, they don't look at me and go, what's wrong with her? They go, that's Sienna. So it's all about what you want and it doesn't have to be nude. Even for some of my pictures, I have photos of Marilyn Monroe. I think she's very sexy. I have pictures of Dita Von Teese, the burlesque performer. I find her very sexy. It's not about in your face nudity. These are girls who are clothed. Dita Von Teese is in her beautiful burlesque outfit covered in um, Sorarsi crystals. Marilyn Monroe is looking glamorous, you know, in a, in a beautiful dress. And these are pictures that I have up in my house because when I look at them, they make me feel sexy. They make me want to kind of be like them. Not that I, I want to be them, but it just, Marilyn Monroe, she's so dressed up. She's Hollywood style. That's my look. Dita Von T, she has her sexy burlesque costume on. I love to dress up in costumes and I'm also a burlesque performer. So it's inspiring. So check out my suggestions for how to Express your sexuality in your home and make it even family and kid friendly. Next, you're gonna learn about spring cleaning your house. And by getting rid of stuff, whether it's from past relationships, you may not know this, but by holding on to things from the past, some of them can keep you from moving forward. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them or put them in a box, put them up in your attic, and then get rid of them when you feel it's time. I never want you to do anything that you're not ready for. So I do t show you steps on just little baby steps. And again, this is what this program is all about, taking little baby steps and going at your own pace. Also gonna focus on getting rid of clothes. I know there's a lot of you out there, way more than you think. And this is a big no-no. And this is the first step to loving yourself and, and loving your body. Quit buying clothes that are too small. If you can't fit into them now, do not buy them. I don't care if you do actually lose weight six months from now. I don't care. Go buy it when you lose the weight because you know what it happens? It gives you doubt, it lowers your self-confidence, it makes you feel horrible if you buy something and you tell yourself, in six months, I'm gonna fit into this. Do you realize how bad that will affect your confidence? I mean, don't set yourself up for failure. I mean, that right there is a whole nother program. <laughs> do not set yourself up for failure. Do not set yourself up to lose. Okay, maybe you do not make it. Maybe you, you do work out and eat healthy, but you still can't fit into that dress. 
but hey, focus on the positives that you have lost weight. Who cares if you can't fit into the dress? Maybe your goals were unrealistic. I do teach a, a fitness program that I teach you how to set realistic goals and not to set yourself up for failure when it comes to losing weight. But my point is, don't buy that dress. Buy it when you're ready. The thing is, is you have to learn to love yourself now in the moment. If you can't love yourself now, that's what this whole program is about. It's about loving yourself, accepting who you are. If you're someone who's overweight and you're not happy with yourself, I get it. I understand. But guess what? Build your confidence with what you have now. Love yourself now. Because if you can love yourself now, guess what's going to happen? You're going to meet your goals to losing that weight and looking the way you want to. So I'm going to show you step by step on how to get rid of clothes and go through your closet so that you can start wearing things that fit you. Get rid of oversized clothes, get rid of clothes that are too small. Just get rid of them. I don't care. Get rid of them. Don't keep on, don't hold on to your fat pants. Like I'm skinny now, but I may fit into these later. Get rid of anything that does not fit you right now, that does not look good on you. Definitely get rid of things that don't look good on you. <laughs> This is all about making you feel more sexy and confident. Those are just a few of the things that you're gonna find in this week's program. I'm not gonna cover them all because they're below in the PDF file where I go over in more detail. So please download that along with the worksheet and have fun with it. Just go out there, take my suggestions. Remember to try all of them. Not all of them are gonna be for you. Some of them you're like, eh, I did it, but guess what, at least you did it. But try all of them. Do one a day, one a week if you must, and just have fun with it and enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm.